let's look at this question uh, hopefully you have done this question I gave you this question in the last video so let's see what answer you got okay so in integrating this again a u substitution would be helpful so you can do without the u substitution but you have to expand this uh, and this will be a u with expansion so when you do the u substitution it becomes very elegant so let's see what happens so as a rule of thumb you take the complex or the difficult part of the function as u so we'll say let uh, u is equal to x cube minus phi so differentiating both sides so or differentiating with respect to x sorry so du by dx is equal to 3x squared now this is a skill that you need to develop slowly as you learn integration you should see x squared dx okay i can see an x squared here and a dx here so this implies uh, and i'm going to divide both sides by three so this is one third du is x squared dx so i can see an x squared dx in the function so i'll i'll box this away okay i'll use this later so what can i say from here okay so you know I, d I don't need this because i already have x squared okay so i can write now this function as two times integration of x cube minus phi to the power phi times x squared dx okay so this is rearranging and writing this taking the constant down so this becomes two times integration of this is what this is nothing but u so u to the power of phi times this is one third du can you see how elegant it has become so this is nothing but you can take factor this out so this is two third times integration of u to the power of phi du and integrating this is uh, pretty easy u to the power of 6 divided by 6 okay so this is nothing but 2 9 18 of u to the power 6 plus c the constant of integration and this simplifies to 1 9th of u to the power 6 plus c but we want to write in terms of x so therefore you can say integration of 2x squared times x cubed minus phi to the power of phi dx is 1 ninth times what was our u? u was x cubed minus phi. So in place of u, I can put x cubed minus phi to the power 6 plus c. So this is fine. and uh, But one of the big problems that you can have is see in integration when you do if you do a small error you can end up getting the wrong answer and you may be in an illusion that you got the right answer so it's always good to check whether there are different ways of checking it you can differentiate this and you should get this back okay but uh, that's fine so because integration and differentiation are opposite of each other when you differentiate this you should get this but I'm going to use a calculator to figure this out so I'm going to use uh, definite integration between 0 to 1 of the same function so this is how I'm going to check so I'm going to check okay so what happens if the question was definite integration of 0 to 1 of 2x squared times x cubed minus phi to the power of phi dx and let's believe let's assume that the answer that you got is right okay so if the answer is right this is nothing but definite integration of uh, definite integration would be one ninth of x to the power x cube minus phi to the power six between zero and one because c doesn't come when you do the uh, definite integration so i'm going to put one and then take away zero so if i put so this is nothing but one ninth if you put one one cube is one so this is minus five to the power six okay uh 
minus minus if you put again one nine and if you put zero here that is nothing but minus five to the power six now here this is nothing but five to the power six so you can factor this one nine out and this is same as uh, what did I do here? Oh, five, one. So this should be four, isn't it? So I've done a mistake here. Good to always check. So one minus five is four. Four to the power six. So you can have factored the, and this is as it to the power, to the sixth power. This will be positive. So this is nothing but four to the power six minus five to the power six. Okay. So this is nothing but one ninth. Uh, times so let me use a calculator so I will do 4 to the power 6 minus 5 to the power 6 which is this number and then divide by 9 which is minus 1291 okay so, so I'll minus 1152 one, so I'll fi finally write the answer is minus 1281 so I'll remove this step. So this is minus 1, 2, 8, 1. Now this minus only tells me that this area between 0 and 1 is under the x-axis. Okay, I'm not going into that now. Now how to use on a calculator on GC. On GC, how will we do that? Uh, so you go option, calculus, integration. So let me delete this integration of what was the function okay so let me bring the function back so this was a function so i'll type in 2x squared bracket x to the power 3 minus phi raised to phi and it is definite integration between 0 and 1 so you go comma 0 comma 1 close the bracket there we go the answer is 1281 so you can be quite confident that your answer is right okay on the graphic calculator we got the same answer minus 1281 so you should be pretty happy that your answer is right oops i should do a star yeah okay see you in the next video